right now in, in, the, in the corner of my eye, the precipice of my eye, although we are in the wake of WrestleMania, we are in the throes of the, uh, Mar- uh, the final for March Madness. Uh, yeah, so it it is on in the corner of my eye. So uh, listeners at home, I do fr- I I apologize in advance if I'm uh, t- taken aback by <laughs> by something <laughs> particularly fine, yeah. exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I haven't watched the game live, but uh, I watch Sports Center nearly every night, so I see uh, see the highlights. So you know what's going night. on, right? And we uh, somewhat we yeah. were we were fortunate enough this year to have uh, a, a Canadian at the forefront, which is always exciting for it's always exciting in basketball, especially. Yeah, yeah, and they always get a, they always get a good moment on TSN. They always shout out our mm-hmm. Canadian athletes when they do well. So yeah, good, good and, on them. And this is one of those cases where uh, R.J. Barrett will be very good. Like he, he, the potential he does have is, uh, is more than Canadians of past. <laughs> yeah, like the uh, Andrew Wiggins. Um, he's, was that the Andrew Wiggins was the last, uh, yeah, big Canadian. To the come last in. like big hype, yeah. But this guy's gonna be better than him. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, they're th- you know he's he's a more of a, a little more complete player, a little bigger, longer, uh, cool. better playmaker, right? So that was a you know well, this, well yeah. this isn't basketball talk here. <laughs> what are we doing? What, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, listeners? You are listening to the Shoot Brothers podcast. Um, this is episode nine. Yeah, this it's is the April. S- How is this not even March Madness? It's April. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. Where is this April 8th? This is yeah. April 8th, Monday, April 8th. And um, of course, if today is Monday, April 8th, that means that last night was Sunday, April 7th, WrestleMania 35. Live. WrestleMania Day. Yeah, but. Um... Where are we started? We go on even further back, starting a takeover, or what are we doing here? That's true. We should talk about takeover that also just happened. It's uh, I, I got so caught up in the excitement from last the night that I, to- fever. that I totally forgot how excited I was yeah. Friday night when we both uh, <laughs> when we both uh, caught the uh, caught the NXT takeover together, which is always fun. It's always fun to uh, catch it with pals. Yes, enjoy with friends, break bread, have some drinks, but <laughs> yeah. Take over New York. Great show. Great show overall. Well, so what? what so uh, we had four matches on the card. Four, five. Five matches. Five matches. All title matches. Every title on the line, uh, including the UK title. But uh, we started it off with the tag team championship: the War Raiders versus Ricochet and Alistair Black. Um, yeah, War Raiders got their special entrance again with the the drums, the beating war drums. That's so a, that's a big entrance. Good opening match. It's always good. It's always never a bad thing to start with a tag match to open. The crowd's hot, hot for both teams. War Raiders get to show off their uh, athleticism for their size with their springboards and the flips to the outside, among other things. We also got to uh, definitively also find out which one was Hanson and Roe. We also kind of broke that down. <laughs> it is, in yeah. fact, Roe with the tattoos. <laughs> yeah, so that's the one that's dating Logan, yeah. Yeah, I, I think ma- married. married, something like that. Yeah, they're they're, they're they a... they're at least Viking married. Well, I don't know what that. <laughs> <laughs> they had a Viking wedding. That, yeah, they had a full on. I don't Viking know. I don't wedding. know what that means in the real world, uh, uh, in terms of like le- legality. I'm sure they signed the paperwork. I think they're just married. They just wore costumes. And, yeah. <laughs> the license is just a regular marriage license, but. Um... Oh, it's like one of those Elvis weddings where everybody dresses like Elvis, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. except That's it's Vikings instead. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, uh, highlights for you. I mean, fuck, yeah, yeah. Um, psh, black hit the black mass, and then Ricochet hit that super high shooting star press. Oh where we yeah, both were just that, like wow, we were both, we were both. Whoo, oh, that shit. hang time, yeah. Um, it looked like they might win there, but Black stood guard, and then he was tackled into, and they broke up the pin. Uh, the War Raiders did eventually hit the fallout for the pin and the win after an excellent tag match. And then we got the the curtain call after War Raiders bowed to them, and then they left them alone in the ring to say their farewell and. Yeah, Ricochet. He was very emotional. He was crying here, and uh... and you know, and you know what's crazy is that it's we're recording this on a Monday night. This they, they could be they they could have they could be in a championship. They match might be right on now. Raw right for now. All yeah. that we know. For all <laughs> we, we don't know. know. They are currently the Raw Tag Team Champions. I don't know. They could be. They could <laughs> they be. Could we be. <laughs> but, we don't um, know. Yeah. All we know for sure is this is their final NXT appearance. Um, so yeah, they bow to the crowd. Some tears, standing ovation for both men, and yeah, that was it. Well, de- well deserved uh, NXT careers. Yeah, for the short one, like only Ricochet was only Ricochet. there for a year, but he, he made his he made his impact. He uh, yeah, he's very beloved by the audience already. So he was he he was a champion, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, North American champ for a little bit. Uh, Alistair Black got the the main big title for a bit, so uh, the sky is the limit for these two. On the time to move on. I really hope they're on um, either Raw or SmackDown this week, so we can maybe see where they're going. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's try to what, figure let's see out what a happens. Permanent. But the shakeup, I think, is like next week, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure it all out in the next week or two. Oh, they're doing another uh, another yeah, superstar, superstar shakeup. Yeah, I believe that's next week in Montreal. Montreal. It's a Montreal. Yeah, but because uh, yeah, the arena's not booked. No playoff games for the Canadians this year. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, we're going from uh, <laughs> Brooklyn. Uh, you know, uh, Montreal. We're all over North America. Yes. Because uh, yes. Uh, next up. <laughs> Speaking of North America, we had a great segue coming up, which was Matt Riddle taking on the Velveteen Dream, the champion, the, the champion Velveteen Dream, that is. Yeah, yeah, he uh, came out dressed as the Statue of Liberty. That was pretty was, fun. Yeah, carried down on a throne by a group of men. Who didn't look uh, necessarily like they <laughs> could, uh, they were 100% confident in what they were doing. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, was, there was a couple guys heavy. there to me. I mean, I'm not saying it's not heavy, but you're thinking if you take that job, it's because you're pretty strong. Yeah, a couple yeah, of those. No, a couple uh, of those guys. It was uh, leaning one corner less than the other, so yeah, someone wasn't. <clears throat> Someone's but. a few inches shorter. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd was definitely pro Dream, but lots of support for uh, the bro Matt Riddle. He goes for the bro bump at the beginning of the match, but Dream doesn't do it. Bro. Uh yeah. Good, good back and forth wrestling. I liked how Riddle. He, you know, as the match went on, he. Getting a bit frustrated, angry, like a bit of a heel. Not totally heel, but yeah. He's an int- yeah, frustrated. he's an intense guy, right? He just yeah. he, the intensity <laughs> keeps going. The big spot he hit that crazy looking German suplex off the ropes, where Dream like flipped <laughs> over <and laughs> where we think he did. Yeah, I'm like, oh my <laughs> where god, it almost. Yeah, that and was then cool. uh, followed that up with the floating bro. I think they called it, which was like his moonsault, but he twisted a bit. Like the Alexa Bliss thing. Uh, yeah, that, that looked good, too. Yeah, it was a cool spot. I too. think Dream hit a code breaker. He was just pulling out all sorts of shit. <laughs> uh, but then we finally got the finish when Matt Riddle has Dream locked in submission, but Dream flips over while well, they're still attached, pinning, pinning Riddle's shoulders to the mat for the three count. So the Dream wins. Great match. Riddle, yeah, he impresses me every time, but uh, nothing needs to be said about the Dream. Nothing needs to be said about the Dream. He eventually, I think, did give Matt Riddle the bro bump at the end. Yeah, so you got to earn the respect after the match, and then you get the bro bump. So both are over as baby faces. Crowd loves it. Both are zo- it. both are over, and let's uh, let's move on for these guys, right? I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Let them uh, have a different pro. Who knows? Who knows where this leads for either men? But wide open. It's wide open. The NXT landscape is wide. Do are do they? They don't do a takeover before Money in the Bank, right? I don't know. They don't really have a full year schedule planned out as much as like WWE, where you kind of know each month's pay per view. Right. Uh, I think Money they... in the Bank is in May, so yeah, I don't know if they're gonna have one right away in May. Because they uh, they for sure have like the four a year. You you kind of you kind of you can kind of count on that. The yeah. WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Rumble. Yeah. And then yeah, they usually have one or two but extras they, just throwing in between, or yeah, because they've t- they've turned Money in the Bank into uh, into a pretty big pay per view on the main roster's end. Yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, right away in May. I don't know. Yeah, it seems quick. I feel seems, like... seems quick. I get it. Yeah. Let's get the briefcase back in play. Like put it on someone ASAP. I get that. Right. Yeah. Some years, a lot of years, it's been in June. The Money in the Bank. So this year they kind of bumped it up a bit. Yeah. But and that, that extra. Month, oh well. Um, Oh, that's six weeks from now. We got to, yeah, we're, <laughs> let's get back oh, on track God. here. Oh, God, there is no track. Um, this is, mm. uh, this, 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 this is for the free form things that our listeners enjoy listening to. That's what I, that's yes. what I think, right? Because you never know. <laughs> One time we're talking about what month money in the bank falls. Uh, next thing you know, we're talking about, uh, Pete Dunn taking on Walter. Yeah. Pete Dunn, Walter. the UK champ. Not just yeah, the NXT the, UK champ. He's the champion of the w, United Kingdom. Yes, the WWE NXT UK champ. Um, what, 680-something days or whatever they... I think I saw I 685 that. was the count yeah. that, I, that I saw. Yeah, Yeah, you and I, we love, we love Walter's entrance. We were singing along with his song for the whole match. <laughs> it was great. Couldn't get out of our heads. Uh, but yeah, great match. Lots of hard hitting. Walter got his chops in on the front and the back and all around. Dunn kept going for the fingers. Uh, yeah, lots of 
finger snapping in those. Uh, eventually, we did get like the Goldberg type Walter, the chance for him. So Walter. It, it, it was the first man to kick out a Pete Dunn's finisher as well. I think. Uh, Oh really? I don't know what it's the, uh, yeah. the, the I don't know what it's called, but he kind of like the pump handle and throw, then he throws yeah, you around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here's a little. I got a little perspective for you here. Um, the uh, the so when Pete Dunne won his championship, Bobby Roode was still the NXT champ. Wow. Yeah. That's, so that was that's how nearly long, two years that's ago. How long ago this was? <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. Um, Done. He ended up doing some nasty Daniel Bryan type stomps to Walter's head, and Walter just kicked him back from the ground and hit a sleeper suplex off the top rope, which looked great and made Moro freak out. Oh, Mom! Uh, Those Mamma Mia chants, dude. <laughs> like, oh, awesome. I can't wait yeah. to be a part of a Mamma Mia chant. <laughs> uh, just the weird. It's just the weirdest thing, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just it's natural. It's organic. Um, you know, we finally, the finish came around when Walter, he's on the top rope. Dunn runs up to give him a triangle choke, but Walter just lifts him up and, like, hits a power bomb, just throwing him, releases him midair. Looked awesome. And then Walter climbs back up, uh, hits the Walter splash, and he pins Dunn. So ending the fantastic title reign, and your new champion is Volta. Volta. Great match. Great match. Um, that splash looks kind of funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a little... Uh, little uh, awkward little wobbly. on that but how, okay, it's well, a lot of weight a lot of weight okay okay what do we what do you think how, how much how much do you think what are Walt, what's walter's size let's <laughs> let's just get let's just get that out of the way because i I'm i don't gonna, know because like, pete dunn's not that like? tall so he probably <laughs> he probably isn't quite as big as it would seem just because of dunn but he's probably no i mean he's bigger than the average man i don't i don't know six three six four six four Two hundred fifty-six um, pounds. They have him at two ninety-seven. Oh, I don't know if I buy that, but maybe, maybe. He's a big motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And uh, I like. I don't like. And where what I'm going? Where I'm going with this is that like I don't think that small of a belt could fit around that <laughs> kind of a waist. I mean, I'm sure. What What did they do back when Mark Henry was winning? Uh, um, <laughs> it was winning championships. Like, did they have the custom Mark Henry belt? That you would have to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I don't know. I think he probably mostly just came out carrying it. But um, <laughs> is that, yeah, is that in his hand? How you decide yeah. that if you can if you're if you're a carrier <laughs> or a wearer? Okay, how's it? Yeah, fit? I don't know. Um, I mean, when Andre the Giant won it for like a day, they had a custom title made, but they never used it. A giant with a larger strap and shit, but. If you uh, if you were a WWE champion or you know intercontinental tag whatever it is would you would you wear your belt or would you carry it What do you think I don't know I'd probably wear it and then take it off and raise it And take it off and so raise it both. once you're in the ring or maybe yeah. like when you're on the entrance yeah. ramp or maybe or just the when other. the moment's Either right way. Okay Come out where yeah, exactly when the moment's right I was just I was just curious <laughs> <laughs> Well maybe you'll find maybe one day who knows I was just curious we <laughs> okay okay <laughs> one time matt and i uh we had purchased we had found yeah wwe 2k like 16 or something in a bin for five dollars we buy it and we make this tag team uh yeah it was just it, it was it was just you know it was it was a lot of fun it was a lot of uh we were like these kkk team like that was our <laughs> stick like that was our yeah. gimmick and we thought it was super over but it really leads to believe yeah like what is what what would you wear if you were in the ring you know you're sitting there customizing this character yeah <laughs> on uh you know i mean i certainly wouldn't wear a white hood but definitely no. pa definitely pants and not the speedo <laughs> pants are way cooler oh no that's just me that's just me call me crazy no i mean no, it's i don't know i don't know I, I don't know. I haven't thought too hard. I haven't thought. I mean, in video games, I always just go wild. Who knows? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I never thought if you were there yourself, Mike, what would you do? <laughs> I don't know. You know, just like when you played hockey, you know, you'd say, I was a, I was a, I was a Jersey Tucker. You know, I, oh, yeah. I, no, I, I never tuck. I tucked, no, I tucked it in. You know, maybe I thought it looked a little <laughs> bit cooler or something. Or... <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, Walter's not a Tucker. He's the new. He's the new NXT UK champ. Yeah, so that's so, pretty cool. Uh, 
yeah, he's keeping that title over there. We'll see what he does with it. Who knows when the next uh, UK takeover will be. And uh, we did, yeah, we did, I think, or hypothesize, maybe a guy like Pete Dunne moves over to the NXT roster for a bit. And, uh, you know, like before jumping up to the main roster. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's done all he can with that UK title, so nothing left to accomplish over there. Maybe that was it for him. Uh, maybe take a ride for the uh, the North American title. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah he's he the best yeah, in Europe. Up, I mean, I'm uh, sure he can be the best in North America, right? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Or even the top title if he wants. So, see, the world is his title oyster. He can yeah. he can take whatever he wants, reaps whatever he sows. All right. Okay. Uh, we had a fatal <laughs> four-way match coming up next. Yeah, Shayna Baszler versus Kyrie Sane versus Io Shirai versus Bianca Belair for the NXT Women's Championship. Um, um, this was yeah. this was the short. I think what this was. What what, ha- what happened in this one? Uh, the goon, well, the you, goons we, stayed think, back. The goons stayed back. Yeah, the goons didn't really have to do too much. That's um, good. That's good. We both we both I think wanted to see Bianca win here. But yes, we did. She's, she's ready, but they didn't do it. I would have been happy with Eo and Karai, Ka- Kyrie as well. Karai. <laughs> That'd be their tag team name. Yeah. Um, Eo, Karai. But, yeah, I thought Shayna's time as champion was ready to end, but they didn't agree. The match was fine, but um, yeah, I'd say this is the only match of the night where I cared the most like about someone winning or not winning. Like I, I didn't want Shayna to win. The rest of the month, I could just sit. Back. I don't. Know. I still enjoyed the match. I I agree. Uh, I thought we were leading towards. Uh, it just felt like Shayna Baszler's time was done in NXT. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah maybe so, move um, move her up to the uh, move her up to the main roster. But I guess not. I guess not yet. Maybe she's yeah. gonna. Maybe she she's got to facilitate the goons. Yeah, but she's got to <laughs> babysit goons them. Arrival. I mean, she's yeah. gonna be there for a long time. Oh, if that's the case. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah, those Shana. goons are not quite ready. She can be, but, she can um, be champ for uh, 686 days at that rate. I hope not, because Bel Air, she's ready. She hit uh, at one point. I don't, know, I forget what she calls it, but she had like two of the women up, and she hit that double like Burning Hammer looking type move, which is pretty sick. Yo, that was Io Shirai's ready too. Oh, yeah, Io, she's there. hitting those Candace moonsaults LeRae? everywhere. I mean, we've been talking about this for months. The women's division <laughs> all over the place is just <laughs> popping. Uh, yeah, you know, let's see everyone get a title. <laughs> like everyone gets like two weeks with it or something. Let's, uh, <laughs> you know, bring back that hardcore title mentality. Constant yeah. defending, twenty four seven, twenty four seven. But uh, yeah, Shayna did. She hit the knee to Bianca's face, locks in the choke, forces Bianca to tap out. So boo, boo. Shayna retains. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. what's next? What's next for Shayna? What's next for this uh, women's roster? I don't know. I don't know. I want Bianca. Like, give her, just give it to Bianca. Come on, <laughs> come on, guys. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. It. But uh, that's that's another chapter for another day. Another chapter for so, another uh, we day. We got the main event. Main event. Main event. Uh, the main event of NXT Takeover New York, which was a two out of three falls match for the vacant NXT Championship. Adam Cole taking on Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Takeover. Johnny Gargano. Johnny Champion? Johnny Champion? Question mark? Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out, yeah, because you don't know it. Because, of course, you don't know anything about it. <laughs> you listen it. to this show, and then you find out if it's worth watching. <laughs> and you find out, yeah. that's that's we, You let us decipher the information for you, and then you just kind of get to enjoy it, and whatever it was. Um, this will probably be my match of the year. Like so, when we do our end of end of the year show in yeah. uh, in December, Eight from now. yeah, when but, we do the uh, what do we call? Let's call them like the shooties or something. Sure, <laughs> sure. It's like you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's well, our we'll think it's, it's <laughs> our Oscars is the shooties. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. we'll come. Up, we'll come up with something, a little song for it, and... <laughs> a little theme tuxedos. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this will. Yeah, this will be my. This will be my match of the year. I think. Yeah, it's uh, it's an early contender Dude, right now. That, oh, that's for like, sure. So every spot was incredible. The the, yeah. the slaps were huge. The crowd um, was alive. The for crowd this was on fire, yeah, and the undisputed era came in. And you, I mean, you yeah. saw me, Mike. I Cole was... sent them away at the beginning. He sent them at the beginning. He's like, I want to do this on my own. But uh, yeah, later on. That... You and and you we were and we were sitting together and you you yeah. saw me stand up out of my seat a couple a couple times. Yeah, we were pumped. We I were was... singing the song all match long. We were, we were ready. For... <laughs> we were singing. We were ready to go. Yeah, 
everything. Uh, the, bay, the Bay Bay was flying. Yeah, the Bay Bay, the booms. Uh, yeah, at the beginning oh. here, I would say like 80% of the crowd was for Adam Cole. <laughs> like there are people who are still chanting for Johnny. No one hates Johnny, but yeah, it was all... Yeah, it, it, it happened day. through it happened throughout the match, right? Like watching yeah. watching Johnny win at the end of that match w- would have been a way better feeling than watching Adam yeah, Cole. He came win, around, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you think about it, like they made the right call and what if <laughs> like we were that's the thing. We weren't mad. Like at the women's match you're kind of disappointed because Shayna won. This one you can't be disappointed no matter what. The match was so good. No matter what, and something like this, and it it was what I was thinking sort of shortly after. Like, why rebook a show? Like, if Johnny Gargano was supposed to beat Tommaso Ciampa, um, let's say, let's say they had written, which I mean made the most sense. Why rewrite everything? Just have Johnny Gargano have like Adam Cole loses absolutely nothing from this match. I know we haven't seen him in a long time, or like he hasn't been. You know, it's not a big win in a while. Ex- exactly, he st- hasn't hurt him in one at all. Because, I mean, the, you know, the yeah, crowd. I feel Loves. like the last like four matches we got out of him were a um, at the uh, war. We had a war games match, and then we had a couple matches with like Pete Dunne and Ricochet there. Yeah, those. Same and now, and now matches. this, and you know what? He's kind of lost all of them, but he's he's absolutely lost no steam. Yeah. How do you yeah, no, do other that? Than, uh... How do you? Book a guy. <laughs> when you're that good. When you're that good. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, wow, someone who can lose <laughs> and still be the like you know top guy in the company. Adam Cole, your time's coming up, baby. Yeah. But he did. He got the first fall in this match here. He, he hit the last shot, and um, as Moro said like 30 times tonight, he's the Panama City Playboy. Is that the a Panama City Playboy? Is that an official uh, Wikipedia? A nick- nickname like is that Man on there? City play? I don't know. Let's, let's <laughs> see don't here. Know. Let's see here. <laughs> um, no, no, they yeah, don't have anything. Uh, he is from Panama City. Yeah, so I mean, so that part. I mean, <laughs> but but and you then, know, it's uh, not like so. But I think Morrow may have just kind of like got this going. And then yeah, and when he hit the the Canadian destroyer where he jumps off the second rope, I think they called it the Panama destroyer. So oh, that's fun. They're really pushing the Panama. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, Gargano, he hit his slingshot DDT, but this time it was outside the ring to the the yeah the other side. Yeah, so that was fun. Uh, Gargano made Cole tap out to tie the match at one fall apiece. So sudden death. Cole starts throwing everything at Gargano. He he hits Chompa's finisher, the fairy tale ending, onto the table, but didn't break. Didn't break. Then, uh, whoever supplied the uh, the equipment this weekend with some some sturdy shit. Not a lot <laughs> yeah, of stuff they weren't broke. Fucking around. Yeah. Yeah. So eventually, <laughs> the uh, the rest of the undisputed era did come out to help Cole, but somehow Gargano manages. He kicks out of everything. The place going fucking insane. Just he, kept, uh, just yeah, kept kicked kicking out, the, out. Just kept yeah, kicking he, out. <laughs> Johnny he even gets busted open above his eye at one point. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then he just fights off the undisputed era, locks in the Gargano escape, and he makes Adam Cole tap out to win the match and become new NXT champion. Wow. Like, Mamma Mia! What a match. Mamma Mia! Yeah, it's fucking great. And then, of course, after as Johnny leaves, Candice comes out to meet him, and then Ch- Chompa comes out right after. And yeah, there's your there's your celebration. Uh, amazing match, amazing takeover. There's the moment it should have been, right? Yeah, I mean Chompa. I mean, you know, we'd like to hope he'll be back, and but uh, I mean, realistically, he could never wrestle again. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it doesn't look too good on his end. Um, but to be, but but to to see the story come to an end. Yeah, and you know that's yeah genuine genuine happiness there for each other. Yeah, yeah, top you top know, guys. If um even if Champa had of if even if he was able to have the match ending it, I think with those two happy towards each other is uh is cool. Yeah, I think yeah. If can, arri- can, fought, can a rivalry ever just stop or like end? I mean, I know <laughs> I know never say never. Of course, never say never. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Can you think of time? Can you think of a time, Mike, where in of wrestling past where like there was a story, and they played it out, and then they didn't, re- they didn't, you didn't go back get to that it. final conclusion. Or 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 maybe no, or like you did get the final conclusion, but like that All was right, it. Okay, that that was, that was yeah. it. Like we're they're not then, <laughs> they're not getting together five years later. I'm sure there are. Yeah, in I'm a, sure there are. In a, you know, in a extreme rules match for some reason, it's just like that. Yeah. That's it. We're done. Yeah, I'm sure there's some examples, but um, 
That's cool. That's yeah, cool. it's not always not always so sacred. That's cool. You know what I mean? It was mine. It was a, it was a lot of people's rivalries of the year last year, certainly. Yeah, and uh, I'm so gl- I'm so glad we actually just got to see it all play through. You know? Yeah, we got to be a yeah. part of this, Mike. We were a part of this year and a half some odd saga. This journey, yeah, which ended on the like on on the half grandest stage of them all. <laughs> yeah, same the biggest, same, uh, same weekend, or the biggest, the, or the grandest small stage of them all. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it's their their big WrestleMania weekend. They usually treat it like that. So exactly, good shit. Um. So yeah, that concludes NXT Takeover New York, and now I think it's time yeah. um that we just get straight. Well, we get I straight into the Hall briefly, of Fame. Hall of yeah, fame we got. We, got we, we can't skip the Hall of Fame. There, there's a couple things we have to. Jesus at least talk about. Christ, <laughs> dude! I don't know. Did you watch any of it, or just the the main uh, the main major clips? Um. Okay. So let's start with some the the good spots I saw, saw from it. I yeah. saw whatever. I, I skimmed. I skimmed a bit. I didn't watch the whole. thing. I didn't like watch the whole thing. Hours. I think they, I they had some kind of compiled YouTube footage, or uh, oh, okay. it was somewhere That's... that I watched, and it was enjoyable. Um. I did like when the cameras would go back and forth between people <laughs> yeah, who were ch- people who were going, and it was like and yeah. it was like Kofi to, da- to Daniel Bryan, Kofi. Yeah, to Daniel Bryan. Bryan played it up so well. He, so and he just he was just he just, <laughs> just mean straight faces. faced, and then back to Kofi, and he's like he's there with his and kids, Kobe's and goofy. everyone's dancing. <laughs> yeah. And they also did one um, with the Miz and Shane. Oh yeah, that one was funny. Uh, and Maurice was getting involved too. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like, yeah, they keep doing it, and then it just gets more exaggerated, and yeah. then it's like, then he's making it, and then like they're making out, and then yeah. Shane like goes <laughs> Shane kisses his wife, wife and then and <laughs> they it, just shocked face. That was hilarious. So yeah, I mean, it was yeah, some funny stuff. Uh, fucking. And, um, but uh, I think that was all the funny story. And then I, the whole uh, DX entrance, I saw. Yeah, their whole one. Thing. Th- Spot I got a shout out for for you and I because we always talk about him on our show. Yes. Uh, so during Tori Wilson's induction, she was talking about Fit Finley for a good while there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she talks <laughs> Fit Finley. <laughs> yeah, Favorite Fit of the Finley. Show. So Tori, love to have you on the show. We'd love to learn more about your role within WWE. Yeah. So Tori's talking about the old days and how she was doing pose offs with Sable and how far the women have come. And then she shouts out Fit Finley for you know being so pushing for the women and she apologizes for crying to him all the time and whenever she messes up and she puts over how fit wants nothing more than to see the women crushing it and she says he's a huge reason why the women are main eventing rania so then the crowd gives finley a standing ovation they put him on the screen no shit and there was, and there was a thank you finley chant so this was great no <laughs> was a great shit moment. fit so there's finley. our boy finley that's a future Ni- hall of famer guaranteed he's going in the hall one year well i mean i think that explains it that's how <laughs> naya got into that rumble match is that Fit Finley yeah, was Finley like, was in no, charge. God damn it. I'm doing this for women. And then he presses, yeah. bloop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, had to had to shout out to that part of Tori Wilson's speech. And then, yeah, the main the main news everyone was talking about, the okay. Heart Foundation. Um, yeah, when Brett and Natalia are up there in the middle of it, some goon with a fucking Rasta hat just comes in and tackles Brett to the ground. I like the slow-mo footage of that where it shows that... Uh, like Natty notices, Natalia notices, yeah, and then she, like, like briefly like tries to grab and brace. And, and, yeah, she tries to like bring him in, like no. Yeah, but then and you hear a grunt too, grunt <laughs> like on the official broadcast. You just see the guy grab him, they fall, and you hear Brett go like, oh, and then it cuts to black. Yeah, it cuts then, right <laughs> away. You have you have to find the. But then uh, there's like a hundred fan cam angles out there where yeah you see him. He goes down, and then like twenty, thirty people just come in. Travis Brown is in there pounding him. Fucking everyone's just going crazy. New Day come in to like pick up Natty and save her and like get Brett to the corner, make sure he's safe. And Fucking, Br- Braun uh, Strowman, uh, Tyson Kidd. Yeah, like everyone just Every, like Dash Wilder a, on the way out. He landed a huge uppercut to the guy. A huge uppercut to that motherfucker. <laughs> just like boom. And Mustafa Ali was there to protect. I think a couple of the wrestlers are trying to like get the guy out of there safely. They're like, let's just, you know, man, he's an asshole, I but let's would not kill him. Hop in there in a second and just like an excuse <laughs> oh, to. Yeah. Uh, I heard like fucking Maria Menounos and whatever were trying to get in there. She was hot. She was angry about it. Everyone was hot, so especially. Like, yeah. <laughs> so like this, like this was crazy. Like the crowd was in a frenzy after this. Like this was nuts. Uh, he Slater looked like Conor McGregor with his like sunglasses on and the fucking jacket. <laughs> it it really yeah, just a, a ginger with money looks uh, oh, looks pretty damn good. It's it's this uh, it's this point I'm trying to uh, it's this point that I'm trying to get to. 
But yeah, so huge heat for that guy. Crowd was chanting, fuck him up. Drake Maverick gets on the mic. He's like, pay no attention to that, man. Let's keep this going. Which so, was, yeah, someone someone had to say something. I'm glad yeah. it was Drake Maverick. <laughs> yeah, so they finally finally got things back on track. Crowd was chanting for Brett. You don't fuck with a legend like that. Because, I mean, yeah, he, he's like, he's he's had, he's a cancer survivor. He's had strokes. He's not fully, like, you know. Yeah, well, you, 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 you <laughs> don't, you don't do that to somebody yeah. who, um... You know, I mean, you, whether it's WWE or a soccer pitch or, you know, you don't run onto the ice. Like, you, yeah. you don't do that. You don't run when there's a musical. You don't run onto the stage <laughs> and start dancing or to, yeah. like, tackle well, the let guy. Alone grab Why the someone. fuck do you tackle, <laughs> tackle the guy? an old man. So that was, yeah, that was fucked up. That, that was the big news of the Hall of Fame. Uh, there was another small thing when Brutus the Barber Beefcake was being introduced by Hulk Hogan. Everyone was standing up except for, like, the New Day. It was just... Sat there, didn't clap, didn't stand. A couple other people didn't react either. But well, yeah, hey, they, that's they, um, you that's know, just, and I think you know, that's, they're not over. That's an no, but that you know what, that's an appropriate reaction, right? I don't think it's yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, saying they're, that like you have to, um, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, but I did read just today that uh, Big E tweeted out something that apparently at WrestleMania Hulk Hogan came up and apologized to him to his face, and they cleared the air a bit there. So now I think. That's interesting. They made Man, their piece. That is a tough conversation to have. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, I think Biggie got his point man. across. Like, yeah. So um, there was that. Did you see any of this guy's weird Twitter? The guy who attacked Brett? Yeah. Uh, I think I saw. He's, isn't he just some weird fucking guy? Like, yeah. Just some weird guy, and he was just saying things like. Uh, yeah, he was like, it, um, like a direct or like mess or tweeting to like at Vince McMahon, like him working out and then being like excited for like Mania Thirty Five and then like you know Kofi or Kofi will take down Daniel Bryan like shit like that. Yeah, just kind of like tweeting. Yeah, he's just some weirdo. Yeah, nothing of uh, nothing of substance, but just real weird. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah, the rest of the speeches, they were all pretty decent. Uh, Degeneration X, the main event, they did a couple couple little AEW jokes in there. Yeah, there was, I yeah. Forget, uh, yeah, Billy Gunn was like, ha, you can't fire me, Hunter. And then Triple H was like, yeah, just wait until Vince buys that piss ant company, then he can fire you again. So there was a little, it was, it was tongue-in-cheek, though. It wasn't, like, vicious. It was tongue-in-cheek, um, but it <laughs> it's really funny, though. Did you... Uh... I guess you don't watch, um, yeah, you don't watch Being the Elite, but watch... Uh, Not every week. Watch this. They they just put one up, like, yeah, like six hours ago, like, just earlier today. It's, uh, oh, okay. yeah, episode 146, titled Pissant. Uh, <laughs> you, should, you should see it. That's perfect. Because um, yeah. there's a couple of really funny storylines that are going on in, uh, on, on that show also. There's a couple of funny things between... Uh, yeah, so it should be it should be checked out either way, Mike. Come on. Yeah, no, oh, I mean we got Come double on. or nothing coming up soon, so, so I'll be start watching. You know, start watching right. being the elite. Takes yeah. well, once, 20, once the weekly show comes out. Twenty. This is the weekly show, Mike. It comes out once a week, and it's <laughs> the 20 weekly minutes. television. Jim Ross has confirmed there will be a weekly television on a big network. Okay, until then, he hasn't confirmed until the then, Mike. Well, yeah. once, well, a, I have you. once a That's week. Why I have you. It's once a week. It's twenty minutes. Come on. <laughs> but uh, yeah. They also had one little bit where they pulled out glasses. Triple H had the googly eye one, making fun of Sean's googly eye. And then Sean had a big nose one, so there you go. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, uh-huh. And then Hunter um, put on the big nose, like, oh, this is redundant. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That was the Hall of Fame. That was the Hall of Fame, um, which I'm going to say, <laughs> a slightly more exciting Hall of Fame than probably usual. Yeah, no, it ended up having some, yeah, some funny bits, those camera things. The and setup was different this year drama. with the wrestling ring. and Yeah, the drama, that made it big. And speaking of that, it's coincidentally at the very same night you heard about at the G1 Supercard. The with Enzo G1 and Cass. Supercard! <laughs> I haven't watched that. That's why I don't know anything about it okay. other than this. Yeah, I, uh, but, I, well, I watched it already. So whenever... Um, you watched the whole card? Um, well, I did the thing that I do um, when I watch New Japan. And I have to be like into something that's going on in the match. Yeah. You know, so um, like, it, I, like I kind of base off of like, who have I heard of somebody? I've heard, oh yeah, I've heard the, <laughs> and, uh, uh, the New Japan. And pretty much I did, I did watch every episode. I did watch every thing. I heard the New Japan side of the card's a lot stronger than the Ring of Honor side. Um, without saying. Well, yeah. Well, a lot of, uh, a lot of those guys, um, I think a lot of those guys do both anyways. 
So uh, yeah, that's true. So yeah, that's, uh, but yeah, I think apparently, I, well, that's why I think that's why they work together. That's yeah. why Ring of Honor and New Japan put on the put on the big show together because they like, yeah. they like each other because they share they share talent and uh, and um, but uh, no this big this cast and Enzo thing was a work but they tried to make it look like a real thing yeah and it was just I think it was just it was just a weird coincidence that it happened on the same night like within an hour of the Brett thing so <laughs> some people <laughs> some people like, like this I mean I'm sure this Enzo and casting was booked ahead of time. Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that was yeah, that was I guess Enzo and Cass are signed with Ring of Honor now or something. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, they could but be it's in there Enzo somewhere. spelled N Z O. Yeah, he's been um, that's how he's been promoting him like his his hip hop. Yeah, you know I see. I think I have him on Instagram or something, or I see him post something. Um, and uh, you should yeah, so definitely check out that super card. Uh, like every like every match was for a belt. Um, the last three matches of the night is. Like not is like seventy five percent of the card. <laughs> it's like seventy five percent of the card. Like um, the length. Yeah, I think I remember yeah. it being. I, I, I remember it feeling like uh, the last. I remember feeling like the last three matches were like an hour and a half, and wow. the first. Uh, I, I definitely didn't watch the pre show, but the first were probably like an hour total. Yeah. So you're like okay, but uh, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff all over the place. So you should check it out. All right, check it out, Mike. Okay. Um, did uh did we want to take a quick break before we move on to the show of shows? Sure, we can do that. What do you um, think? What do you what do you think? Shoot, brothers. Yeah, because I don't think, think we didn't. <laughs> we don't. Uh, this is kind of a special episode. We're not doing every regular segment this week, right? So li- like we're so listeners, we're doing this for you. We you know this is the WrestleMania weekend uh, ex, ex um extra x x what's the extravaganza that was the word, <laughs> that was the word i was looking for um so we're yeah reviewing uh reviewing everything that happened in wrestlemania weekend i think of course you probably have a wrestler of the week you have uh, you, yeah you have well to. yeah so i mean what so do you want me to pick one tonight and then we do another wrestler of the week on wednesday or whatever of course you know this is the shoot brothers okay. podcast we always got a re- we always got a wrestler okay. we always got a wrestler of the week okay oh and yeah, i have something so, I've, but, I've, um, i have one thing to put over also <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't come up with any trivia though. I don't. I don't have no trivia. No, this week. no, no trivia. Uh, uh, listeners for Wednesday, will be waiting trivia for Wednesday uh, Wednesday afternoon's episode. But for now, folks, we're actually going to take a quick break. Yeah. But stick quick around break. when we talk about Russell hey. Media. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> it's your brother, shoot sisters. Are we back? I'm yes. back. Mike, are you back? Yes. Oh boy. Shoot mania. Sorry. Shoot folks. mania, baby. Oh. Getting all sniffly just just thinking about it. Oh, I'm gonna have a sneeze right. fit, but I, there's no oh, yeah. time because rest, it's WrestleMania. Yeah. Vince McMahon hates sneezing, by the way. Notorious. He hates it. How? Wait. What? Why? He, hates like- it. he just gets like, God oh, damn it! Control yourself, man. <laughs> he just hates. <laughs> he says that like to himself. Yeah, no, like yeah. Apparently, like if anyone sneezes in front of him, he's so disgusted. He's like, "Oh, I can't believe you. You've disgusted me." No, no, no. <laughs> office or McMahon house has Kleenex. And it's interesting. Like out of all the years, all the hours of WWE programming, I've never seen someone like in the middle of a promo just <gasps> just, you know, just break into sneeze. You know, or I, commentary. I bet the sec- it's human I bet nature. The second you think you sniffle. You would think. You would think. You would think. I bet yeah. the second he, I don't know, like, sees somebody sniffles, like he takes them off TV for three weeks. I was like, <laughs> maybe yeah, that's why Nia Jax is always there. She just has an incredible immune system. Yeah, maybe she's never been sick around the man. Yeah, I think we might be. She, I think we might be onto something here. Maybe okay. she consumes consumes everything, so some of it's good for her. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Sorry, it's not that kind of show. What it's, it's mania? What is this shoot kind mania! Of show? Shoot mania! Mania! This is shoot mania! No, shoot mania one! I guess that's real exciting. Yes. Shoot mania one! Woo! Um, WrestleMania thirty five live from the MetLife Center. Um, no Hulk, <laughs> it's the MetLife Stadium. Oh, uh, for one. <laughs> Uh, yes. MetLife Stadium. Now I watched. I watched the pre-show. I had it on. I was kind of cooking. Yeah, I uh, I did watch the pre-show as well. Mm-hmm. So um, we I find it more. I about... sometimes I, f- I just find it entertaining listening to some of them talk. Some of th- yeah, like some of the backstage. I mean, some of the interviews and stuff <laughs> are actually kind of funny. And Paige whatever, really but... doesn't f- like talking live, speaking live. 
<laughs> like that's like she doesn't she I don't, she's not that quick off the cuff and when she is she's laughs every time she says something yeah just like, like that awkward like, ah. like ah. <laughs> <laughs> she like laugh yeah. with me and i'm like ha, 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 okay yeah booker t is hilarious on those because even if he doesn't make sense he just he, oh you know, it'll he come around himself, yeah no but he'll, then, yeah. he'll bring it around. like oh and it's gonna be perfect <laughs> 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 You're like, all right, Booker. <laughs> That's a pretty good Booker T. <laughs> uh, but on to the actual wrestling. Let's uh, kick off the pre-show. Um, yes. it was the pre-show. Is it the kickoff show the, or the, the pre-show? The entrance the... came up through like the the pre-show side stage. I like that. They didn't give them the yeah, whole so entrance. This, right? um, yeah, so this year's stage was just kind of like a big video screen. Mm-hmm. It's like a big curve, like an IMAX theater. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I liked it. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, it, it, was, it was cool for it the visual, sleek. but I I wanted a little something, a little prop or something, you know? Like okay. last year we had the the Jester, the year before we had like a roller coaster. Anyway, it was mm. still fine. Uh, Murphy gets cut open in this match near his eye. Um, you know, good match. The crowd's dead for the beginning. They woke up a little bit later on. Well, Tony the cr- Nese the crowd picks was, out. The crowd was just arriving. Yeah, they were still arriving, of to be course. fair. It was like 5.30 at this point, <laughs> yep. so... Tony Nese kicked out of Murphy's Law, so near fall there. And then Tony Nese hit the running Nese in the corner. He gets the pinfall, and he wins the WWE Cruiserweight title. New, so there you go, new Tony champ, Nese. New champ, great bout. Keep going. Yeah, it was a good bout. Keep going. Uh, right on to the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. So we had um, three, three, I think, unannounced entrants here. Amber Moon returns from injury. NXT's Candice LeRae and Kyrie Sane were here. Yeah, but, I wonder. Uh, poor Candice. But they, I wonder, you know, someone like Kyrie or Candice is in this match, but they don't really yeah. get introduced. Well, and she didn't even like Candice was eliminated within the, like the first minute. And it was, it was like, okay, I get it, but yeah. what? <laughs> and no, Lacey Evans. Where was she in this match? She, 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 she was somewhere. We did get her later in the not. show, but yeah. So, um, and uh, Dana Brooke though, she had a pocket of the crowd supporting her for a little bit there. She got, she hit a couple moves, got some eliminations. Had, yeah, everyone's Dana. Day yeah. no, day no, <laughs> it was day fun. No. Was it like, you know, like um, in school when you let they let the special kid hit a hit a basket or something? Everyone's cheering. For him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, go, you can do it. Yeah, woo. Way, way to no, go, no. Dalton. Yeah, good job, <laughs> Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could do it, Dalton. But uh, yeah, all these women getting thrown out. The Riot Squad working well together. They survived most of the match, but eventually, uh, it just comes down to Sarah Logan and Oscar. Uh, Sarah Logan eliminates her. She thinks she's won. But then Carmella comes sneaking back sneaking in. She was back outside in the ring. like she always does. Yeah, so there's your final showdown. Logan tries to suplex Mella to the outside, but she escapes and hits the super kick. Logan go falls out, and Carmella's your winner. Um, I know you, uh, you were chanting for that rabbit pelt, weren't you? I was chanting for that rabbit pelt. I was thinking <laughs> to myself, no. Um, uh, yeah. Asuka looked great. Ember Moon looked great. She gave a couple uh, yeah, she hit a couple of, of those her, uh, eclipses a, to people yeah. who, who took it very well. <laughs> Yeah, Mandy took a good one. Someone else got one. Tony uh, Deville was looking real good after this match. Um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, overall, it was okay. It was a short little battle royal. Yeah. It's a battle royal. Amber right? Moon's exactly back, which is good. yeah. Um, this uh, this point of the show brings up our first prop bet, um, which was how many times will uh, Alicia Fox scream? Yeah, I didn't even notice her in this. She wasn't even there. Okay, so there so you go. I, we, I just assumed. Go. Zero. I mean, the I, I mean women's zero. the, the ter- <laughs> when you hear women's battle royal, you should pretty much just have Alicia Fox's like walking out to a ring. Like that's the yeah. photo. Um, but, yeah, but so this one didn't even uh, happen. So uh, so yeah. so we're moving on. Fuck it. All right, on to the next pre-show match. We had the just announced revival versus Zach Har- or Zach Ryder and Kurt Hawkins for the Raw Tag Team Titles. And uh, yeah, the crowd was behind Hawkins and Ryder as we expected. Mm-hmm. They gave them. Well, as you, as, as, as you expected. As I expect. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, ah, they want to see it. The crowd, they got a decent amount of time here. Uh, I was hoping for the feel-good win and end the long losing streak, and that's what we got. Don't expect a long title reign from them, but it was pretty fun. Like we said like we said earlier in the show, folks, it's Monday night. They could have already lost Yeah, like, two. That, that, that's the one. Out of every <laughs> title people. change at Mania, this is the one that I don't see long-term anything. Uh, yeah, if it's a title change on a pre-show, well, I mean, except 203, I'm oh, sorry, 205 Live, they have their own thing going on. Yeah, we don't even know, but yeah. <laughs> Scott Dawson <laughs> had a sweet-looking br- brain buster to the outside on the floor uh, to Kurt Hawkins, but when he brought him back in for the pin, Hawkins surprised him with a roll-up, and that was the pinfall, because that was the tag title win. So and woo! Ending the 629... Yeah, 269 losses. Oh, sorry, two, not 600. Wow, it. that would be a <laughs> not lot. Quite a, it probably it's probably around that many days because they don't wrestle every single day of the year. 
But, oh, right. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, nice crowd pop for these guys. They were genuinely happy for the win, and uh, yeah, good for them. But not going to last too long, I don't think. Good good for them, right? Yeah, you had your Yeah, you know, moment. it was a feel-good feel good win. Um, And then finally, the last match in our pre-show was the yes. uh, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, That's right. Wherein a bunch of people came down. And, yeah, Luke uh, Harper's back apparently. Only a there. couple exited. Yeah, there was a there was a, there was a good stare down between Luke Harper and Braun Strowman. Yeah, um, teasing that uh, yeah that old that old Wyatt family. Yeah, interaction. Uh, Mustafa uh, Ali when he got eliminated, he took a good bump mid yeah. elimination. Oh, yeah, to say, right off the bat, Jost and Che just left the ring and hit underneath. Oh yeah, so yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, yeah, that was their storyline. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Strowman eliminated, but EC3 was eliminated within like ten seconds, so. Mm-hmm. He's just been completely irrelevant on the main roster so far. Who the heck? They're knows? not doing anything. With him. Um, yeah the the whole thing was av- the whole thing was you know battle royally for me until uh, <laughs> yeah. eventually at the end when Che and Jost come back up. Yeah, uh, they bring in a therapist. They bring, to try to talk to Braun. <laughs> they bring. On, I <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah, then oh. Braun just beats the guy up. Uh, <laughs> Trey tries to eliminate himself, but Braun grabs him and smacks him, so Che's gone. And, and then, then Braun goes for a boot on Colin, but he ducks him. So Braun goes like halfway over for a second. You're like, oh my God. Is, like, oh, is this no, going to be he, it? <laughs> he fights off elimination. Braun gets back in, picks Colin over his head, and throws him into a crowd of people on the outside of the ring, which I think is exactly how I called it. Um, uh, is that exactly? Not is, that Braun would win, though. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that, that's, what, you call, that's what you called what the ending would be. The elimination. Yeah. But yeah, Strowman, that's how we get. He wins. He picks up the big trophy after he struggles a bit, but he picks that thing up. It looks fucking heavy. Yeah, it does. Well, you know, and, compared, <laughs> and he's a big guy, so I was just, I was just yeah, sizing up beside like, him. Like, Jesus Christ, they like, should make if, this a little bit smaller, maybe. You yeah, think. What if Ali had won? Was he going to pick that thing up? Um, that's a good point. I think, I think that thing might be as big as him. <laughs> or would he just stand beside? Him <laughs> just like <laughs> <Yeah>. thumbs up. <laughs> hey, yeah, someone else yeah. carry it for me. Hey, like, hey yeah. tech guys, want to carry that for me? <laughs> uh, that was the pre-show, um, folks listening here at home. Uh, Mike. Uh, Mike got you got two of those right. You know that. Yeah, good for me. Woo. Good for good for you. Woo! But you know it's it's the pre-show. The real magic starts yes, at the main seven show. p.m. The um, magic of Yolanda Adams. We're also we're also gonna go through uh, these bets that these bets that we made last week, folks. We're, we're gonna go through them as the uh, as the relevancy. As they appear. Uh, yeah, as the relevancy comes yes. up. So uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we didn't uh, we didn't do a bet for the America the Beautiful. Sometimes some singers sing a very long rendition. Yeah, you never but. you never know. I was thinking about that, like a t- like a second thing. I remember a, yeah. f- a friend of mine, uh, he ended up yeah over Super Bowl losing two hundred bucks because the national anthem went three minutes too long or, or like three you know three seconds too long or something. And he yeah, won the big match. I forget uh, I forget how they opened the Canadian WrestleManias. I don't think they sang America the Beautiful, but. Anyways, it doesn't know. matter. Think, Yolanda I think, did it. I think Vince McMahon would have him sing America the Beautiful. Maybe he did. I can't remember. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we got some pyro. Isn't it nice having pyro again? Yeah. Open the it show. Was, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a great intro. The boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I, li- I like when you, I, I, like with the TV delay, when you hear fireworks, because sometimes it's like incredibly <laughs> off. And, 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 yeah. Like, and that's like what. You that, see it and then you hear it and then. And that's what's <laughs> jarring is that you see something and then you're like in your mind, you're saying to yourself, I should be hearing it too. And then <laughs> there's enough time yeah, for you then to go, oh shit, what was that? <laughs> love it. I love it. Um, So yeah, I think we should just hop right into it. Um, yeah. Uh, so Alexa Bliss comes out. Alexa Bliss, uh, the hostess of WrestleMania, of course. Um, she welcomes us. Uh, she also welcomes. I don't know how I feel. Actually, do <laughs> feel about Hulk Hogan coming out. Yeah, but he's here. But he was there. Uh, he was there. Um, and yeah, so he botched the name of the place. Yeah, at first he did it in a joking way. He's like, "Oh, it's great to be in the Silver Dome." And that's what was worse. Yeah. Is that like he was clearly tried to make a joke and then fucked yeah. up the joke. Well, it's because he he did yeah. So at WrestleMania 30, he did this. He actually fucked up. What did he, what did he, he called, say? It was supposed to be the Superdome, and he called it the Silverdome. Um, and then so here he was trying to reference that joke, but then he's like, "Ah, just kidding. It's MetLife Center, but it's not even MetLife Center. It's MetLife Stadium." Which was in frame right when he said it. Like, look, you, all you have to do is look up to the left. It's right there in front of you. So <laughs> he yeah, it was that. written down and it was fairly yeah. bright outside. <laughs> so either way, yeah, the joke didn't land, even if he hadn't botched the line. Um, 
But right after, as his music's playing, him and uh, Bliss are doing the muscle poses, and then Paul Heyman comes walking past them. Okay, I gotta say, uh, I gotta say, um, I, I knew exactly what was gonna happen. Yeah, soon, once Heyman came out, I was excited. Heyman came like, out, yes. I'm like, oh fucking, I was like, yes. a, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Go. Of course, Heyman <laughs> storms down. He he gets the full entrance length. He gets the full ring length, and he comes down. It's bullshit that the women are getting the main event. I don't think because they're women. I don't think that was his point. No, I think his he point was like was me and Brock it's not aren't Brock Lesnar. Okay, I just wanted yeah. to make sure that. I just wanted yeah, to clear he's the like, air. If, there's no point in sticking around all night if we're not in the main event. So it, let's it, do it, right it, now. it wasn't like uh, it wasn't like Paul Heyman's down there saying to himself, like, no. women, right? <laughs> no, I don't think. <laughs> so of course, you know, if you're if you're if if he's not main eventing, we're not sticking around. Um, uh, Las yeah, Vegas, I gotta get to the Sizzler, baby. Las in La, in Las Vegas, our talents are uh, <laughs> ready to go, and he makes a good point. I mean, like, would you rather sit around WrestleMania for seven and a half hours? For it to go, yeah, and then, especially a guy like Brock, he doesn't he care. Got places to be, so he's like, "Fuck it, we're coming out right now. We're doing it." Yeah, that's right. Our first match of the night is Seth Rollins taking on Brock Lesnar and his Universal Championship. Gotta say, yeah. gotta say right off the bat, though, um, we both had uh, different opening matches. I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody. Yeah, we both. I don't think anyone. <laughs> so yeah, none of us win that bet there. Um, I think I had. A, I think I had the Shane and Miz, and you had um, yeah. you had, had a tag. You had a tag. tag. You had a tag match. So right off the bat, we were over yeah. one. <laughs> but that's okay. So, uh, um, so Seth Seth comes out. Seth answers the call. It was a huge burn it down. Oh yeah, thumbs but up. Thumbs before up he that. can even get to the before he can get to the ring, Brock just comes out and starts beating him around a bit. Throws him into the barricade. Uh, grabs the top of the table, the little thing, and breaks him through that. Mm-hmm. Rollins' back was like all purple and dinged up, so he got hit pretty good on one of these things. He got a couple. He got a couple cuts back there. And uh, Brock hit an F five on the outside. That's the only one I remember. Do you remember more than one F five this whole time? <sighs> of course, folks. Uh, what Mike's referring to is how many F fives will be F fived. Uh, yeah. I only caught one. Yeah. So I, that's another one where we were very. Yeah, I yeah. think I. I. There, there, I there was a second one where you know he did the setup, but then uh, Seth pushed yeah, out of it like he behind did not him. Hit. They did that, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. So I said there would be three. Said you there said there would be, would be five. five. Yeah. So um, yeah, we are both wrong. Bo- but, both uh, wrong, uh, but uh, wrong by different degrees. But still, like a lot. Yeah. Like, do you think at least two? Yeah, we expect it. So this match, it was not booked the way we thought it would be, but I'm still happy with the uh, the result. So Brock, he hits that F5. They get back in the ring. Finally, the match starts. He he does a bunch of suplexes, uh, but then Seth I realized avoids it the move. should have been the suplex count that we counted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he hit like six or seven of those mm-hmm. things, uh, and then he goes for something. Uh, Seth avoids it. The ref gets taken out. So this is what we're waiting for. Seth hits the low blow to weaken the beast. The low, and blow. then not one, not two, but three, three curb, curb stomps. stomps. Yeah, he uh, he yeah. F5'd him with curb stomps. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So three in a row, and he gets the pin, and he is your new Universal Championship. New Universal so Championship we're all happy. in like two and a half minutes. Yeah, no, I expected this to be like the Finn, Brian, AJ type matches, but oh well, I'm fine with this. Yeah, and get and that title he, off. Brock. He still gets over f- for being greasy. Yeah, like everyone's happy, like haha, you fucked Brock, haha. And Br- Brock doesn't look like he lost really, but um, yeah. Seth Rollins is two and zero against Brock Lesnar at uh, WrestleMania, so there, there you go. go. Hey. And he swings the title like a madman at the top, like he loves to do. He burns it down, you know. He's a uh, he's a fucking yeah. rock star. <laughs> um, so yeah, good opener. Good great opener. Op- yeah, great opening bit. Great opening segment. Um, all in all, we didn't even have time before uh, the next match was like right after that. I think it was like right after. It was like a, yeah. Like it was a they media. did like the thing they've been doing recently, kind of were like. Half the time, as someone's leaving, the next guy's coming out. The next so. guy's coming up. You know, let's like, keep it moving. You got you got to get time wherever you can go, right? So, um, of course, this is AJ Styles taking on Randy Orton in a singles match. So, I think Randy Orton came out first, and you know the thing that they do when they superimpose three D images on top of the yeah. stage and shit. So, they had like snakes or they, vipers. They had vipers for Randy Orton's, but and you you, you uh, boys and girls at home you can go back on the WWE network and check this out the they're brown snakes coiling up on Look the like stage shit. it actually looks it looks like poop <laughs> it looks like poop yeah. like it, it has a snake's head so if you can kind of like blur the snake's head out a little bit yeah it, they had poop on there for a couple seconds it was really funny for me yes but we did have a prop bet going on do you remember for this uh for this particular match yeah 
not so much the match. You were uh, talking about Randy Orton's vest. Oh, I yes. Said, Does Randy wear... I said yes to the vest. You said no to the vest. Does Randy wear the and half he... vest, half sweater? Yes. He did have a vest. So. He wore the goddamn, goddamn yes. it. I don't know. I don't know why you bet against the vest. He loves that. I know. I think I this was no, <laughs> but I, no, but I think if uh, I was going like per, I, if WrestleMania know, going, next year in Tampa, he will not be wearing that thing. <laughs> we'll there you see. go. Because it was only because we were in New York. Don't worry. This bet will live on. God damn it. Yes. I'll catch. But uh, after the entrance, we did get a match. Um, yeah, Styles, he was avoiding some RKO's throughout the match. Eventually, he goes for the phenomenal forearm, but Randy catches him while he's, like, standing on the ropes. But AJ jumps down, slams his throat into it, and then jumps back up, hits the phenomenal forearm for the pin and the win. So, yeah, another another nice baby face moment. The pin, the win, and the one, two, three. Um... Yeah, nothing on the line other than pride here. But uh... pride on the line. Of course, you and I both saw AJ going over. Yeah. Um. You took the risk on Seth, though. Sorry, I'm just looking at that little list that I wrote down. Took a risk on Seth. Because I, you, you uh, I have, I have, I have your pick as Brock Lesnar. No, I picked Seth to win. Oh, okay. You were just thinking to avoid the baby face sweep. I said if I have to sacrifice one, but I think oh, I still. Oh, okay. I'm sixty percent sure Seth will win. Anyway, I get you. I get you. I get you. Um, this match, Pride was at stake, two SmackDown dudes. Uh, yeah, I guess they'll just be back tomorrow, probably. We'll see what's yeah, up. Be back. Who knows? You know, maybe maybe this is AJ's time to uh, move over to Monday Night Raw. Yeah, I'd be good with that. Um, but immediately after this, we got our Lacey Evans Mania appearance. She comes out, does her little wave to the crowd in her ladybug dress. Not in the proper and, context, though. I think yeah. I think we would have both preferred seeing her um, in a in a pinnacle royal yes. of some kind. Well, who knows? Like we said, it's Monday night. She could be she could be on television. She could be right women's now. champ right now. She could be women's champ. Could turn on the TV. She, I guess she could be. Uh, <laughs> she could be a women's champion Becky, right now. Yeah. Never but, say never. Um, yeah. But we do have the match. More match. Many match coming. Uh, the next match is the SmackDown Tag Titles, the Usos versus Ricochet and Aleister Black versus The Bar versus Nakamura and Rusev. Uh, yeah, Black, he had a bit of a special vest this time. It's like spikes and horns growing out of it. Yeah, that was, that was, that was heavy metal as fuck. Little, yeah, he was, he was looking cool. Yeah. Good tag match here. Mm -hmm. Ricochet got to hit all his high-flying spots to pop the crowd. Um, eventually, we got that breakdown where everyone hits their finishers on each other in a row. Leaving the Usos alone with Sheamus to hit a double super kick and a double splash for the win, and they retain their titles. So no title change, no no Ricochet Black, no title change Ricochet Black quite yet at least. Uh, my favorite spot was when Cesaro's in the middle of the ring doing his little spinny thing to Ricochet, and then yeah. Sheamus is grabbing everyone and doing the fucking <laughs> chest slaps. Um, yeah, just, Cesaro yeah, and Ricochet great. are crazy strong. Yeah, that was one of the longest spins, continuous spins. Now, I've never I've done seen. that in my life. I've never held someone by the ankles and spun them around, <laughs> but I can only assume you have to be incredibly strong to yeah. do that. <laughs> well, yeah, within five or ten seconds, you gotta, you'd gotta, be like, oh, okay, I'm done. Uh, I don't uh, even know if I could get that. I've done, me and my friends, we did that like on a trampoline before. We spun each other. You tried that one time? We you got, little you, children. We were children, though, not, not grown You men. got like ten seconds in, and then you were... Yeah, like we spun and then he just had to stop and just kind of put him down. Right. <laughs> but got him off the got him off the ground. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, that was my favorite spot. Nothing changed though. Quick little match. Let's uh let's get it out of the way. Let's get it out of the yeah, way. Usos win. Moving right along. We had the quick Hall of Fame curtain call after that, where they all come out and do the little hey, how you doing? Of course. They're <laughs> they're little hey, how you doing? Yeah. And I was just thinking, yeah, Bru you know Bruce the Beefcake who was out there? Yep. How he has his his shears with him. His his garden loppers. Yeah, imagine the fan came running in when that was in the ring. Woo! Someone might have got stabbed. It would be, it would be a different yeah. story. <laughs> it would be a but, different uh, story right now. But yeah, there you go. There's your Hall of Fame, guys. And and gals. Yeah, Lee, but um, and gals. Yes, Tori Wilson. Um, and Sue. But two future Sue, Hall of Fame. Sue Hutchinson. Sue, yeah, Sue Hutchinson. Hutchinson, Sue whatever. Hutchinson. The British, that British lady. She makes children's wishes come true, so she's a good lady. Exactly. Um but yeah, two future Hall of Famers in this next match here. <laughs> Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac and the Miz. You're yeah, probably right. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll both go in. This was your Falls Count Anywhere match. Um, yeah, they start in the ring like civilized men, though. But of course. Shane is fucking... Shane is stiff. He's he's what he's punching like half of these things are just real punches. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't pull anymore. He's fifty. He he's not pulling. Yeah. He's not pulling he's his like, punches anymore. But they do go outside the ring. Uh, Shane sets up Miz on the announce table and 
goes to the top rope to deliver the elbow, but George gets up and stands in the way. He's like, no, not my son. <laughs> not He's had my enough. son. Yeah, so George, he gets in the ring with Shane, and uh, you know he puts his dukes up, and Shane's just mocking him. He, like, <laughs> yeah. To, he adjusts his fist for him, and yeah, eventually he starts... His bravery beating cannot help his potato, his potato bag physique. Those quick, <laughs> so those, Shane's those beating those up George. little combos. Yeah, but Miz sees this. He comes running back in to save his father, and yeah, this is when shit gets... Uh, escalated they go into the crowd here they're starting to fight through the audience miss beat shane with a chair and fucks up like this whole row of foreign announce tables their whole thing was demolished all their screens you, and everything. you know what's recorded. wild so like they're going through this little tech area yeah um and one thing that i think is i i, I what i wonder as a tech is that like yeah you can rig they're like they were like walking across them and they're like throwing each other into the vertical video screens like yeah. you could totally make it safe for you to like add that load onto it. Let's say, right? But I wonder if they have a path. If they're like, yeah, we're gonna hit this area, hit this area. I mean, obviously, they where they landed, where well, obviously where the match ended was like <laughs> where they were supposed to be. I, you know, I bet there was padding yeah. under there, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. like, I wonder if the how they get their path, because like, yeah, I'm sure it, there's some. Because if you were just like prop, like just chalk down the amount of money. Of shit that they probably <laughs> broke, like oh they don't care about that. Those matches, this must you know a fucking false count anywhere match costs a lot on the grandest stage. <laughs> yeah, of them you're, all. you're dropping a couple. It was grand it was on... every single country's fucking announced team, and I was also thinking, what happens yeah. <laughs> when you're in France and then you're watching WrestleMania, then the fucking feed cuts out because yeah, like, the Miz just took it out. Like, do you just go to the American feed or like probably. audio audio feed? It just fucking auto switches. Probably they just go to something or just have a no audio and watch the match for a bit. Because I don't imagine <laughs> they have the same amount of backup and probably second backup system that they have for the American announcers. <laughs> yeah, I bet you know yeah. they have like a backups backup, but for yeah. the you know for the Mandarin, I wonder if they have the double layer backup so it always <laughs> fucking works. Yeah, they just kind of tape it together. Uh, but yeah, before the big the big bump, there was like a little scary one for me where like. Shane got thrown onto a golf cart. He just kind of fell straight sweet. off the roof. I think, yeah, like that. <laughs> like it looked great. There was, it was like right on the concrete. That was like a four foot drop. I think, uh, I think maybe he was supposed to fall completely on the golf cart and maybe, yeah, no, fall he, yeah, he kind of missed his. <laughs> like it looked, yeah, it was a good bump, but I was like, holy oh, shit, no, Jesus Christ, uh, Shane. <laughs> but they do make their way to the big camera tower. Mm -hmm. Shane climbs up. He's trying to escape from Miz, but Miz is like King Kong. He's climbing that tower. He corners him and. Shane's begging for mercy, but the Miz does not show any. He picks him up, or he punches him a couple times, and then he sets up for a big suplex. We get the, off the superplex tower. off the tower onto some sort of Hollywood crash pad mm -hmm. gimmick. Uh, a fifteen foot drop, which brings us to another prop bet. Fifteen foot. I think I said twenty, and I said sixteen. Ooh, so, that's yours. Yes. That's yours. Yes, I'll take that. So, but uh, yeah, we were both we were both in the in the pretty close ballpark. Yeah, of what they were gonna do. But when they land, Shane is on top of the Miz, uh, his shoulders over top, so the ref counts the three, and Shane wins. You know what? But, weird weird finish, but uh, but hey, it was a, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it works. We got the big fall. That's all the crowd wanted was the big that's fall. What we, so. That's what we wanted. Well, and the George spot. Yeah, and the George. I mean, I didn't get – I wanted George to throw a punch or two. Yeah, I, he, he showed his bravery. One in but, there. No, Shane – are yeah. you kidding me? A, Mc, a Shane McMahon is not going to put over George <laughs> How about a kick in the balls? A kick in the balls. <laughs> he, he could sell that. He could sell a kick in the balls but, uh, from a potato face. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, fun match, fun spots. Um, Who knows? This is, yeah, I was yeah. really just thinking the the tech people have to like plug that back in. <laughs> yeah. Like if I was You're at work about and then guys. someone came and smashed everything, I wouldn't know. You know like where do you start? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different. That's what thing. I. That's what I. That's where my mind was. Shout out to those tech guys who have to replace. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all the shit uh, every single every single time. Shout out, shout out to those guys. All right. But now we're gonna shout out to the women. Not the main event women, but the women's tag title match. We have the Boss and Hug Connection versus the Divas of Doom, Beth and Natalia versus Nia and Tamina versus Iconics. Iconic. Uh, um, yeah. They, yeah, they called them the, the Heart Foundation a couple times. I thought that was cool. Why not? Well, I don't know. I don't know if Beth could be included with the fire, but uh, okay, well, whatever. Okay, sure. okay, okay. I yeah, was thinking, like, was like you know, if, if you're in the family, I think you are allowed to revive, like, the name of an old rig. 
Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? Natalia can be like, yo, let's Natalia can, do this sure. again. But Maybe I mean, there's a couple more hearts that they're keeping on the back burner. There's like a whole <laughs> like team of hearts down there in Florida just getting ready. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Just training, waiting <laughs> for the time yeah, to no. take over. Yeah, Beth Beth continued to look good here. Crowd was into the Iconics, as they should be. Um, but yeah, the big the big finish came when Beth Phoenix, she had Bailey on the top or the middle rope, and she hit the glam slam from there. But as she was doing the move, Billy Kay tagged herself in, and Peyton throws Beth off Bailey. Billy gets the cover for the pin and then the championship win. So, yes. One, two, three. Happy. The greasy heels yes. walked away. That's so cool. Yeah, this was I a loved it. great, yeah, big pop. Yeah. And they were emotional. They were, you know, Billy, they, you know, they had some tears in their eyes. They were very happy. Na Love it. Crowd pop. Naya and Tamina weren't in this, like, at all. They may have had, oh, oh yeah, they had they one were... <laughs> spot that Nia Jax botched on the Samoan drop to uh, Peyton Royce. Yeah. So you can check that out, folks, uh, folks at home, listeners. Um, but, uh, yeah, they were sort of like on the outside of this match the whole time. It really gave Beth Phoenix and Natalia had that double, uh, that double Sharp fucking sharpshooter. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, Bailey is throwing Sasha Banks into people now. <laughs> and, <Yeah. laughs> um, yeah, but, uh, they did the right thing for me. Happy finish. Happy ending. Happy. <laughs> I can't. Oh, iconic Ma Mike that brings yes, us up iconic um, mania. next bet. Uh Michael Cole's boss count. Oh yeah. I didn't I didn't even really keep track of this. Uh, well don't worry because somebody <laughs> did. Uh yeah. Michael Cole said the word boss five times. Five times. So let's see. Let's check. I had myself down. For nine bosses. <laughs> oh, I bet I was like thirty. <laughs> yeah, you said twenty. <laughs> ah, oh my god, I was I was you? I was taking everything just outlandish. Yeah, you're swinging for the fences. I was swinging. swinging. I was re I like WrestleMania. It. It's the grandest stage of all. You know, if Michael Cole's gonna bring out his yeah. best, it's gonna be during <laughs> during WrestleMania. Maybe next year we'll do an iconic count. How many times does he say iconic? Or yeah, or I was yeah, I was realizing there is stuff that he says. There's a lot of that, that you could. Uh, that you could <laughs> Do or but, um, or if if we encompass more of the announced team, like any time they refer to the boss and hug connection, you know, like something like that, because then you have three people, you know, more chances, more chances, more hype. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um. More hype. Oh, you like want this next you match? Want more hype? Oh my God! We had Kofi Kingston taking on the new Daniel Bryan uh, for the WWE Championship match. <laughs> this yeah. oh this we've we've been we've been building a couple weeks oh months for this now I feel this is the yeah, moment been... this is it this was finally what it all came down to yeah we didn't know they've been they made us we didn't know if we were gonna get it they'll be wanting it uh, yeah man fucking the entrances Biggie and Xavier come out they have a present with them what could, what could like it be? Stand could it there be? for the title belt. Yeah, <laughs> once they had the stand out, like ah, they got the belt. They got something. Well, they uh, they 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 actually did that for all the belts. I also noticed that. Or I also noticed I that oh, I, earlier. I noticed it after <laughs> after this match. Then I noticed that they had it, and I'm like, oh. Well. oh okay, but. no, I noticed it for the match before the iconics. Uh, the um, sorry, the women's tag match belt were on. Okay. Well, either way, I noticed that the other belt was under the curtain, under the blanket. You're saying to yourself, what's this? This is an interesting little. <laughs> shaped um uh package okay enough about that uh yeah, yeah. mike God i don't know what do, what what do you want to say this was this was the rest was the match of the night this was the match of the night this was kofi kingston's wrestlemania moment daniel bryan putting on the some of the best awesome oh match. an amazing match even himself when he a couple times went for those yes kicks and yeah. he's like looking at everybody and he's doing the thing. <laughs> and then we started, you know, giving yes chance to Kofi. And it yeah. was uh, the crowd. This was something this was this was a great this was a great moment to see. It was great to see that one, two, three go down. Kofi, Daniel Bryan gave it all they had. Yeah, man. Everyone was rooting for Kofi. Oh. They'll, lots of the hard strikes, kicks, stiff back and forth reversals. Uh, yeah. Bryan did his head stomp thing. Kofi eventually did that. Same thing to Brian. Yeah. You know, he got his fucking shit going. Uh, yeah, at one point, Rowan tried to interfere and attack Xavier and Big E, but then Kofi knocked him out with the Trouble in Paradise. And then X, 
Xavier and Piggy hit the up, up, down, down on the floor to him, so he was out of the picture. Oh, right, right, and right. Yeah. The little, the little stuff, which is good because you and I both thought that they would be out, out of like not by ringside. I think yeah, that's what we but, said. But if, but as long as they were dealing with each other, then that's all. <laughs> that's yeah, all good. If you got yeah. one, you got to have both. So uh, Kofi did kick out of a running knee at one point, so that was a near fall that the crowd bought into. Yeah. And then, yeah, like you said. He got the win with the Trouble in Paradise, so everyone was happy. New Day runs in the ring right away. They're crying. Everyone's celebrating. It's fucking awesome. And we get the uh, and we get the new belt back. What was under that stand the whole time? The oh, sorry, yeah. the old belt rather, I should say. Of course, the, the old belt. Black with the WWE yeah, they championship. had Kofi's Kofi's side plates were already on there. They just had Kofi Kingston. Uh, yeah, the, the the surprise present they pull out. It's like championship T-shirts or whatever. Yeah, I forget what it says. Classic. Just you know, buy that, buy that, Something. uh, buy that merch right now, right? Yeah. And then Kofi's kids come climbing in the ring. This one kid was just like jumping up the ropes and shit. He was having a ball. <laughs> he, was fe- like, he was just jumping right future, in there like a future, spider Future superstar right there. Well, don't say yeah. that. Um, oh, no, oh, no, don't take it like that. Uh, yeah, this was, uh, this, but, was, this was my match of the night. <laughs> this was my favorite match. Yeah, so this is just night. great. Um, Everyone's biggie. They pick him up on his shoulders for the celebration. Everyone's happy. Yeah, this 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 was the WrestleMania moment we've all wanted. We've all been waiting yeah. for. So it was great to see that so again, at, just to see that story the, <laughs> finally play out. Yeah. At this point, I'm like, man, so Rollins has won, Iconics have won, Kofi's won, everything's happy. Everything's happy this show. You're thinking to yourself, there's been a lot of title changes so far. Yeah, that too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, which at the end of the night, we'll address that. That was another prop bet, but I think like halfway through the show it's already been settled. But. Oh shit! 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 Sorry. No. No. We um. We yeah. We did miss. We did miss the one bet from the match before, which was uh um. Crap! 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 Wait! 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 I have this written down. The first non-American to win a match. Oh, so that was in the women's match. The first, yeah. The or- first non. The first non-American to win the match was uh main like pre- main show only. Um, yeah, the Iconics. So there the you go. Iconics, so there you go. Yeah, there you Australia. Go. There you go. I okay, think I yeah, had so... Finn and you had Alistair Black. So uh, yeah. So we were both both off on that. But yeah, surprising. That was the one, like if you yeah. had like that was like the least one that I would have thought. I think another one we forgot was the first sponsor. Oh shit! We did I walk past Snickers. the sponsor. Did what did you catch? Snickers. I didn't. I said Sni- I think Snickers was just like right at the beginning. Snickers like, was bef- like... okay. Snickers was before the. You, you know, like that little video montage they have that starts with Hulk um, yeah. flipping, and then the one the one after that that I saw was actually Cricket, Cricket, Cricket yeah. Wireless, the Sasha Banks Cricket Wireless. Oh commercial yeah, they had was a, didn't they have a couple with them? Yeah, there was it was a little bit further down, but I think that specific Snickers commercial I put it I call, called it before the actual show. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. I think we were both off on that one. All right, well. Um. Yeah. Where were we? It's good though. No, there was one also before that was. I. I just realized they had sponsors. Like shit. Yeah. I should have just been paying attention <laughs> to more sponsors. They had movie sponsors. I'm sure there, this was information we could have found. <laughs> yeah, I saw a lot of the vanilla coke with orange or whatever that. There's was. a movie with Kumail Nanjiani. We see him later yeah, during that, that okay. Batista. <laughs> during during that even, Batista match. He was in the front row or something. Yeah. He was in the front row with his uh, wife Emily V. Gordon. Yeah. Um. Let I. Uh, <laughs> let's keep. Yeah. Let's keep moving on, on to the next. Let's keep moving on. Uh, next up, we had Samoa Joe taking on Rey Mysterio. He's defending his United States Championship. Uh, yeah. Sixty seconds. This was not. This this was not the squash match that I thought I would think, be on the card. Yeah, Rey must still be a bit injured, and they just had to get him, get a quick match out of him. So yeah, he hit the six one nine, but then he went for the splash. Joe avoided, locked in the coquina clutch for the TKO. And that was it. I guess if he's still hurt, you know, it means you don't have to take him off the card and you can yeah. make Joe look strong in the process. Yeah, and it keeps the show moving, you know, just a quick... I was trying to figure out Ray's, because Ray always wears a comic book inspired thing every year, so I couldn't tell if this was Aquaman or if this was Mysterio from Spider-Man, which oh, would be okay. even more ironic, yeah, but... I thought it in was the past. He's done like the Flash, he's done Captain America, he's done all shit. I, I, I had more of a uh, Riddler type of vibe. Yeah, there was like a question mark thing, kind of. Yeah, that's, either way, that's what he I was had. it was he was someone, but yeah, quick squash, Joe wins. There quick squash, Joe wins. Uh, Dominic, we'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think he was there. They they just cut him out of the storyline completely. <laughs> hey, Dominic. <Fuck> it. <laughs> yeah. I'm picturing Joe just doing the hey Wendy, but <laughs> hey Dominic. Yeah, totally. 
Um, next up, we had uh, we had Roman Reigns taking on Drew McIntyre. Yeah, Drew got some uh, some drummer boys for his entrance. Oh, that was pretty cool. Those things are like deafeningly loud. That was the first thing I thought oh, yeah. about. Like Fuck. that guy was sta- like Drew McIntyre <laughs> was between like equidistant between like six of them. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember right being now. a little kid and like seeing them walk by at parades and shit, and they'd be so loud. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just such an uh, it's just such an ugly. <laughs> and there's like twelve the of them. Oh my god! It's such an ugly like oh my music. god! Let's get every awful instrument. <laughs> let's start let's, wailing on a baby while we're every, at it. <laughs> let's take every terrible sound and put them all together. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but of course, I don't know. This match didn't do much for me, but Roman Reigns does get the win that he yeah, he was going to get. A couple booze, some booze for Roman. It's starting, I think, already. The honeymoon may be ending for him. No, I, well, the honeymoon. I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like the like heat, but they, I, I heard some negativity for Roman. Okay, here. no, I didn't get a no. Well, I mean, I heard like when they do like the ooh, uh, I heard that. No, I heard that. Oh, I know oh. my oohs and boos. <laughs> my I oohs. I know, I know my oohs <laughs> and boos. Phonetically, but, it's totally different. Um, maybe the maybe yeah, dude, maybe, that, ex- maybe that could be happening right now on Monday it Night could Raw. Be. That's a good point, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all but, like. Uh, Give it yeah, to Drew. This match is what we expected. Not a squash. Drew got some offense in, but Roman gets the clean win. Yep. Yeah. Superman punch spear. Boom. There you go. Done. Boom. There you go. Done. Uh, okay. So we are coming up. Um, the next match on the card is the... Uh, well, before match, we had a big musical performance. Oh, shit. That was right here. Okay. Yeah. Yes. This is where Elias comes out. Um, there's like a video of him on the screen. He's playing the drums. He's playing the piano. And then he starts jamming on his guitar along with him. And then as he's about to perform his next piece, John Cena comes out. But this is the old school Doctor of Thugonomics Cena. So this is my favorite and many other favorite and many other people's favorite version of Cena. So this was awesome. He had the backwards yeah, cap, was, the old music, the big chain. This was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and then he was just he was just ripping in on the microphone. And we knew we knew he was gonna be there and we knew someone was gonna fuck up Elias' spot. Yeah, this was yeah. We we guessed he was probably going to be in this thing here, but uh, we uh, I definitely don't. I definitely didn't see him going back on a gimmick. So that was uh, that was yeah. cool to actually. So see. you've you've seen some old clips of Cena? Only so yeah, only were... seen clips. But uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware of what's going on. Uh... Yeah, this was awesome. Like Cena, lots of Cena chants. He was self-referential. He's like, yeah, just like watching one of my movies because this whole thing sucks. Yeah. And without the guitar, WWE means wasted wrestling experiment. Those were some of his. And I don't think, yeah. Piece of shit too. And what? And then he gives them just a fucking. You can't see me. Yeah, well, he said there will be no AA to, for today because yeah, you're getting the FU. So that was great, bringing back the old FU, which is the same move. But yeah, so he hits that. That was great. Love this version of Cena. And yeah, there you we, go. We got our Cena mode. There was our WrestleMania. He shows up yeah. at every WrestleMania. You know, that's how you stay alive, right? Like maybe go a couple years without a match, but you know, still show your face there. Oh, yeah. Crowd will always know who he is. So. But, uh, Good shit. Oh, of course! Oh, of course! And maybe get some cheers back, right? Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We don't no, even yeah, need him to be in a match. Just show up occasionally. Yeah, no, he was getting funny. Cena chance. So the crowd. He's at the point now where yeah, he's he's earned the respect of everyone. Yeah, just do something funny, and then <laughs> and then you're good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, next up, we had uh, Triple uh, Triple H taking on Batista in a no holds barred match. Yes, um, career on the line. Career on the line. If Triple H lost, he has to retire from in-ring competition forever. Fingers crossed that he does. Um, <laughs> this was uh, this was a classic Triple H match. Overbooked. And the entrance. What about Long that entrance? As hell. That fucking okay. cheesy Mad Max entrance times. twisted metal. Yeah. Uh, it's like I have all, all I have all of my documents written down here. <laughs> yeah, pen and pencil uh, or paper. Wait, where is it? It, it? it was pen and paper. No, you 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 keep going. You keep going on about this Mad Max match. Yeah, so he's fucking already. this entrance, this stupid video screen, and then he comes out in some wacky hot rod type of car motorcycle thing. Well, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. I it, it was it was. Just, I thought it was lame. It was a Mad Max. Uh... Oh yeah, I didn't. I don't know. But uh, the match, yeah, the match was what expected. Long brawl with weapons. Hunter grabs a chain early on, starts whipping Batista, then he reaches into the toolbox, grabs a wrench, starts twisting his fingers, and then he gets out the needle nose pliers, and he rips Batista's nose ring right out. Yeah, that was that was pretty uh, sick. That was that yeah, was pretty sick. Yeah, Batista, there's a little blood there, so they did something. <laughs> he poked it a little bit. Yeah, but. yeah, I think he spent a lot of time taking it out. 
As a as, as yeah. a man with a nose ring, I know how much time it would take to take <laughs> out my nose ring. It would probably be approximately that amount. Uh, yeah. Batista botching on his way into the ring. That was uh, that was pretty. Oh funny. yeah, he slipped a little bit. Uh. <laughs> that was a, that was a but, that was a funny little slip. I gotta say. Uh, yeah. These two guys just went back and forth. They were bringing in. Yeah. They, uh, the, the what they had the fucking the stairs inside the ring, the table that didn't break. Yeah. They, they're getting their table from their NXT of course. people. Yeah. The dual sledgehammer. Sl- the dual sledgehammers. Yeah, and then you uh, yeah, wielding Bat- sledgehammers. <laughs> when Batista gets the stairs into the ring, he hits a DDT onto them, and then when Hunter's down, Ric Flair runs in and gives him another sledgehammer. Yep. And then he goes around and starts talking trash to Batista, like, "Hey, man, come over here!" And <laughs> as he's distracted, Hunter just runs in, jumps off the stairs, hits a Superman sledgehammer punch, and then the pedigree for the win, and he saves his career. And then later on, I think. Today or yesterday, Batista announced that that was his retirement. So that was done. the retirement. That was it. What a way to go out, though. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I mean, it was, it was what we expected. But it wasn't a bad match. They, they say, beat each Batista, other up. Batista's we got the weapons. Got a bunch of cool new tattoos now. Yeah, yeah, his back and ribs and whatever else looked Jesus like there was some more done to them. Yeah, le- so yeah, we've just seen him covered up with a suit up jacket the last legs couple and weeks. stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, he's tough. Yeah, this, it all this was over. a classic. Trip. This this match felt it felt same vibe for me as that crown. Uh, I was going to say Crown Royal, Crown Jewel match. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did um, the final time. The final bell time was 24 45. 24 and 45. Okay, here are the predictions. So, Mike, you said that it would be 22 minutes and 34 seconds. Yes. I thought close. it would be 26 minutes and 12 seconds. So we were like equally close. <laughs> uh, Mike, your time was two minutes and nine seconds off. My time was one minute and twenty seven seconds off. Ooh, yeah. So you've been. I think yeah, we were both pretty close. Both though. pretty close. We're both pretty close. I think I'm walking home, champ. I'm thinking yeah, I'm walking we'll home, champ, one. on that one. Um, we'll give you that one. Mike, however, one thing I do have to say, you and I were both off over entrance length. It was only four minutes and fifty eight seconds, and this was from starting at. The first sign of that LED board that turning on with the uh, <laughs> yeah. with the Mad Max thing, until the fanfare of lights stopped being green. Yeah. That was that was sort of the range that I could put it in. I couldn't really think of it any better way. No, that sounds fair um, to me. Yeah, uh, but it was so it was four minutes and fifty eight seconds, just under five minutes. We were both off. I thought seven. You thought six minutes and twenty one seconds. So we were, but we were both really far off. Yeah, but I'm glad Thank it was shorter. Thank God. Yeah. We got <laughs> two more minutes of that shit. Oh, my God. No, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking so, of shit. What shit? Okay, so I think, um, well, yeah, we're definitely more than halfway down done the show. It didn't rain at oh, all. There's only three it didn't matches rain left. at all the entire show. No, yeah, so I was very confident it wasn't um, When I saw photos and videos from, like, outside, before and after, the, the ground did look damp. As though mm-hmm. maybe the, the rain had happened before, but uh, maybe after, but uh, either way. Yeah, there was no during. There was no, there was no during. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So I yeah I, I I said no rain. You said rain. So there you go. There's that. There we go. There we go. Um. Okay. So coming up next, we have uh, uh, it's put put out. If you need, if you if you have a hot match, put it out with rain. <laughs> because this next segued match, we had Kurt Angle's retirement bout Ugh. taken on Baron Corbin. This was Angle's farewell match. Um, not really much to say, except Baron Corbin gets the win. This yeah, was the so shocking moment of the night, I think, clean for everybody. Uh, yeah. he, Angle, Angle went for a moonsault. Uh, Corbin just avoided it. And then when he got up, he hit him with the end of days. And that was his clean win. So, yeah, no one wanted to see that. Um, for Kurt's last match. Kurt gave the classy speech at yeah, the end though little... and you know i mean it, it, it made me think like if if, if anyone's if anyone is not going to put themselves over in their last match it seems like the guy who won an olympic medal with a broken <laughs> neck it's he seems he just seems like that dude who is so nice and so cool and it, it doesn't matter if he won or lost we still would have cheered him the exact same yeah maybe either he way that. he got, maybe he he got his that. send off yeah we were but... still gonna you suck the loudest we have, <laughs> even though, like, whether he had win or, like, won, win, win or lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we did also have a bet for this. And match. let me tell you, Baron Corbin can use a win. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> of course we did, folks. Um, Mike and I had a wager on to how many seconds Kurt Angle will win. 
So yeah, we were both well under on this. One. I thought it was going to be like 15 seconds, and not only was the time off that he, it, yeah, it wasn't you said even, 40 seconds, I said 136 seconds. Well, and not only was that we had the wrong competitor. <laughs> take, take that <laughs> yeah, match. we were wrong so in the whole we were, match. We were, so, we were so. wrong with the whole thing. Um, yeah, so that one we were way off. Six minutes and five seconds, which was like five minutes too long. Yeah, no, no, uh, it's uh, yeah, so we're well, one, no, I think well, I think the bet voided itself, similar to the Alicia Fox bet. <laughs> yeah, all bets are void. All bets are um, void if the if the uh, if the entertainer doesn't show up, right? <laughs> sure. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's gonna so be weird. He's it's retired. gonna be weird, though. Like that's it. that's it. That was it for Kurt. Kurt and Batista. Yeah. I guess two in the, two in the same show. Yeah, and maybe <laughs> who knows? Someone else. I don't know. Brock Lesnar. He's uh <laughs> oh, Brock. Bro, uh, he's de- he's going back to UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna have. He a, uh, uh, he's looking real cut. Yeah, cleaned up. Uh, that was my first. That, that was USADA my first pool. Song. He's in the USADA pool. Yeah, I know he's all good. Uh, uh, UFC 240 in August. That's the boat. That's the boat we're all waiting for. So there you go. Um, Not I. Coming up next, though, we did have a singles match for the Intercontinental Championship when Bobby Lashley was defending uh, up against the Demon Finn Balor. Um, yeah, we knew we knew ahead of time we were getting him. Yeah, we knew so ahead we of time to. we were getting him. Uh, this was one thing. This should have been a bet, though. Uh, how many times they say the word demon? Because I yeah. definitely <laughs> heard it more times than I heard the word boss. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I, lots I, of I, demon. Like halfway through the match, I started just kind of like, shit, he's not stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, Lash roll, yeah. Bobby Lashley rolls in with these, uh, you know, cool looking contacts. Yeah, that was kind of I don't I don't know what the what, yeah it was like green eye looking being thing. Intimi- I don't know just being doing. intimidating. I don't know. He's the, yeah sure uh, why not? Of course why he's not? there. He's there with Leo Rush. Um, what happens in this match? Not much. They kind of go back and forth. Yeah, a bit. they kept a lot it of short. Offense. Leo Rush kind of gets chased around him and scared by the demon. Um, <laughs> uh, Finn yeah. uh, Finn Balor gets the coup de gras win. Yeah, he hit a power bomb on Lashley right before. Oh, he did. Looked yeah, pretty. It looked it, pretty it, impressive considering the size. It, it, like a straight, it, it would, clean it pickup. The boom. Three times. It was, he like tried the yeah. once, tried the twice, and hit it the third time. Yeah, and then yeah, that led to the coup de gras. So there you go, another another new champion on the show. Another new champion on the show. The new champions just keep coming. Um, of course, folks, we had a bet. Just finish Balor's entrance smoke get carried away in the wind. I noticed it a bit, but I think because I'm hoping for it because I thought it would. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't really notice any if, issue, but, if, but if, I mean, yeah, if you if you felt like the effect was still present, then I I agree the effect was still present. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, well, so thank you for yeah. being noble about it. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. There's that. Um, there you go. There's that. Uh, of course, um, before before we get into before we got into our main event, there was a yeah, huge amount of video packages too. Uh, the one thing that I do have to cover is uh, Alexa Bliss wardrobe changes. We're getting towards the end of the show. We don't see her again. Yeah, After. I don't think, did she do anything? Did she change it all? Um, she wore now, now, now. We we agreed it was like how many outfits she has on total. Yeah, as we said, uh, Alexa Bliss had five different outfits. Oh, okay. So I um, said three. You said seven. Ooh, so I guess I was I was a little bit close. I was a little bit closer we, uh, than you, but uh, oh no, no we, we were, were both, both equidistant away. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll call that one a wash. So that, that that one's a wash, but she did she uh. Uh, yeah, she, I think every time we saw her, she was like, she was wearing something new, which I knew would happen. I just thought we maybe see a little bit more of her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Halfway through the show, she was just kind of gone. Yeah. And then, uh, but, well, I mean, where are you going to put her? There's so much shit going on. Yeah. Including the main event. Including the main event. Of course, we have the Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey, the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair, and... Becky Lynch, the man, uh, in a winner takes all triple threat match. Winner goes home with all two of them trophies, yo. Yeah. So Charlotte comes in on a helicopter. So before, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I don't get it. Why did why, why, why did Charlotte? Uh, Ric Flair used to do that. Oh, okay. Like back in yeah, like back in the NWA days, like he'd come in, like get up, like li- they would literally land sometimes. Like if they were in a wide open enough field, he would land and get off right there and walk into the ring. Okay. Uh, but yeah, she lands. They roll out a red carpet for I, I her. I didn't get it, and I thought it was weird that only Charlotte Flair had one. Like well, I, Charlotte had the helicopter, and then Rhonda had Joan Jet, so she had something, and then oh, Becky was just Becky. Yeah, I thought. I thought, I thought <laughs> so I thought, Becky wasn't. A... 
I was thinking about it more like you know we you if 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 in some way you know you saw how Charlotte Flair arrived. And then it was like yeah. you saw how Ronda Rousey arrived, and then Becky Lynch just yeah. kind like of like walks out, walks like out of like an or Uber or something. <laughs> she was like, "Oh shit, I gotta go." <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so thanks for thanks thanks for <laughs> clarifying had... that one. Yeah, there was that, and there was Joan Jet. Joan did Jet did a good job of her uh, bad reputation. Yep. Uh, and then yeah, just Becky. They let Becky come out last because she's the baby she's face, the man. And then right into the match, lots of heavy strikes from Ronda, Charlotte. Hit her Spanish fly from the top rope, which looks great. Yep. And then Becky hit also hit a Beck exploder from the top rope. Remember, you want to uh, you want to you, you date someone who's going to make you a better person. And if Charlotte Flair can develop luchador skills, because yeah, she's, already she's already naturally athletic yeah, from Andrada. That was another thing at the Hall of Fame. They uh, they officially showed up together on the red carpet. Oh, with their picks, Charlotte and Andrada. Picks, or it didn't happen. Oh, they were interviewed together. And they confirmed they were being a couple. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's more. That's cute. They went that's cute. No, there was a. But there was also. It's a, funny you say that though. There was a little clip uh, on the Sheamus's workout channel. He had Andrade on an episode, and I yeah. guess uh, like they're just passing. They happen. Charlotte Flair is also there, and they're just passing each other, and uh, they get uh, he, they give each other a little like little tickle on the tummy, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, and then like the video yeah. cuts really quickly, and you're like, oh shit, a little <laughs> tickle on the tummy. There's also uh, heavy rumors that Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch are uh, involved. Yo, it's crazy. They were st- it's crazy you say that. Because <laughs> they were sitting next to each other at the Hall of Fame. No, it's crazy you say that because I was uh, again back to Sheamus's workout channel. Um, uh, oh. They were doing a cross. <laughs> so it was uh, it was Sheamus, uh, Cesaro, Big Dick Tony. That's what they call him. <laughs> um, Seth and Becky doing like CrossFit workout, and just like yeah. the way that they interacted, I was totally thinking to myself, like couple-y. "Yo, they're dating." Like, right. oh, it's crazy you said that though. <laughs> I, I swear, I swear to God. Well, cheers. there you go. No, I think so. You're too. here first. Uh, you if know, you want to, also, down. I'm put, putting it over again. If you want to watch it, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, but there yeah. you go. There you go. Crazy. Okay. Okay. There are a couple. Cr- yeah. Yeah. But uh, back back to a the match. Champs. Um, a couple. Ch- that's a champ. Champ. Cr- champ. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's three belts between the two of them. They can let the dog wear one. Uh, (laughs) So eventually they bring in a table, get set up in the corner, and Charlotte charges at Becky and Ronda, but they throw her, and it kind of bends the table a little bit. It didn't really break, but what are you going to do? They're too light. They need to get thinner tables for them, I guess. Yeah, that felt bad because I think that also happened during uh, during Evolution. Yeah, there was another like the announce table broke fine for them before when it was like Becky and Charlotte. And I think it was, there, was I think some, it, there was something else that I think it was yeah. the Evolution match where yeah the table didn't quite break and you're just kind of like ah fuck. Oh yeah, the first time I think, but then Charlotte did it again and she right, broke right. It. They they just yeah. redid the spot and it eventually broke. But here, yeah, it just kind of gave way enough that they're like fuck it. So that took Charlotte out and that left Ronda and Becky alone for the showdown. Ronda hits Becky with a big knee, goes for the Piper Pit, but Becky turned it into a crucifix and got the pin. Kind of out of nowhere on Ronda. So Becky is your new and first ever women's double champ. Champ, champ. Boy, did this pin come out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, I don't think she meant, I think I don't think Corey, like, now, her shoulder was kind of moved a bit. I don't think she was meant to do now, that. Now, of course, they, like, that's the word on the street here, folks. Um, and, uh, like, you're, lo- I'm, you know, looking at the timeage of, uh, of, you know, and this, so this was the third longest match, of course. The uh, Triple H Batista match was 24 minutes being the longest. The Kofi Kingston match, 23 minutes. This was a 21 and a half minute match. It still carried the same amount of time as those guys, but yeah, it felt fast for some reason. It, it, yeah, when, it felt more like 15 when minutes. When this match like was 20. over, I, I, I actually thought to myself, yeah, like, no way they gave him 15 minutes. Like, I yeah. know it's late, but <laughs> there's no way yeah. they gave him 15 minutes. Um, you're right. I do wonder if this win is botched a little bit. I mean, um, like, I think that was the planned finish. It just kind of rolled off a little bit awkwardly yeah, the way Ronda moved. Yeah, because you know what? Uh, the, uh, the the botch finish, this is, this is just like the Lesnar finish, right? Like, but Ronda Rousey can still come back and be strong. Yeah, after a and gre- at the end of the day, she was beaten, finish. but it was like a yeah, like a fluky looking thing. And it's um, too bad though. Yeah, I still, <laughs> I still, I like the, I like the match overall, but it didn't hit that super high level, like to reach a five star. Yeah, but um, um, you're. <clears throat> it wasn't. Yeah, that's why like the Kofi match was the match of the night for me. But this was still probably my my second favorite. It was properly executed. Yeah, you you have to say the only two things like yeah, if that table had broke. And, <laughs> yeah, if, and if the pin, if, was, if a the bit pin was a little bit cleaner, um, you know what? And I think we both wanted Becky Lynch to make Ronda tap. 
Yeah, that's what I had predicted. I, to me, that was I the it. I like that would have been the perfect finish. Because yeah. you know, in a sub, like in some in a submission finish, you have the time to play with them a little yeah. bit, right? And build it, build it. Let Ronda. I mean, I know the ro- you know ropes don't count as a count out, uh, or sorry, ropes don't disqualify or whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, have a roll up and still have her fucking drag her back in like there's no chance in hell, and set up yeah. just like loop. Yeah. No, I'm guessing that maybe they want to keep that on the table just in case Ronda comes back. You know, like. Becky Ronda SummerSlam or something, and then she can tap her out, or I don't know. Yeah, why not? Either I don't think this is the last we ever see of Ronda in WWE. (coughs) Of course, it's not the last we see of Ronda Rousey in WWE. Um, uh, But yeah, the close the show closes with the big fireworks going off. The right woman wins the match. So yeah, either I'm happy with the end of WrestleMania and end the show. Man, I'm so this was what this has to be one of the most crowd pleasing WrestleManias. Yeah, like booking wise, like so many years you're going in, you're like, oh, this is gonna be a good mania, and then they fuck up every match, like goes the opposite way. But tonight, (laughs) nearly every match, like nearly every title change was. I mean, and and anytime you see a title change, it's it's going to be exciting. Yeah. So it it doesn't matter that the you know it, it could have been Beth and Natalia who won. I mean, God, hopefully not Nia and Tamina, but like it, it <laughs> could have been. But even still, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like anybody winning a title is going to be exciting, and they just kind of gave it to. This was full fucking mark out crowd service. Yeah. So that brings us to our final two bets. So speaking of the title changes, there was ten titles on the line. Eight of them changed. So I gave the over under a five and a half. I said it would be more than five. You said it would be less than five. Ooh, so. shit. Yeah. So I took youth. Uh, God, I thought that uh, I thought they would. Yeah, I think you said like four title changes or something. I did no, no, no. Uh, I have no trust in Vince. <laughs> but yeah, I guess. eight title changes. Eight title they changes. gave us everything. We and then the final bet was the ending time. Okay. I said twelve. I said twelve fifteen a.m. You said twelve fifty a.m. And it officially ended at twelve twenty five. Uh, yeah, I, I also I also had twelve twenty five written down. Yeah, um, so I was a bit closer. I was within ten. You were twenty five off. Oh, okay. Well, it was still still yeah. still pretty close. You know, you, either way, no twelve twenty five. I think man, was a good. If this if this if this match took that little bit longer than I think it should have. <laughs> yeah, it would have been right. We would have right in the. <laughs> would have put me a little bit closer. You know. Uh, yeah. But no, overall, I'm very happy. With, very happy with WrestleMania. Yeah, dude, what a what a WrestleMania! I gotta say, I gotta say, um, which yeah. is so exciting. Like even though like it, it was long, but like a, it, you know, it didn't feel as long as some of the years. No, it, it wasn't it, really, and any... it doesn't feel long as you know when the Rumble is. I think the Rumble was like six hours or something. The yeah, last one, yeah. Like, I guess when one match goes on for like an hour long, like it those feels, yeah. feel long. But you know what? Because it's WrestleMania, and there's always gonna be shit to look at. The production is better. There's more cameras. There's more lights. Yeah, yeah. Shit's there's always more moving. Excitement. Like in between, you, you there's hear, always something you hear going on. Different voices, right? They're always cycling in. First it's Paige, then JBL, and then Jerry the King, and then it's the SmackDown team, and then Aiden English is there for some reason. Yeah. Like I, <laughs> I, also, I think hearing new voices let let's let's like you know lets the announcers be fresh too. I mean, yeah. at the end of at the end of a pay per view, you got to think Corey Graves and Michael Cole have to be fucking exhausted. <laughs> yeah, for a second there, Michael Cole sounded like he was losing his voice, but he got it back for, for like ten seconds. He was like, "Oh, oh God, and who but, knows what they sound like he, right he got now?" It back. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mike, the listeners at home for uh, Shoot Brothers, Shoot Sisters, that was the WrestleMania 35 uh, review show and the NXT pay per view. Yeah, that was. Uh... Yeah, that's only half of the the week of wrestling, but that's the big shit to get out of the way. That's the big shit to get out of the way, but folks. Um, they do say they do make big angles for Raw SmackDown. There could be some NXT call ups tonight. We don't know, but we'll we'll address that later on in the week. Of course, folks, you'll hear that show when it drops, either on Wednesday or uh, Thursday. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, Mike. Do you have anything else you want to cover here in this week's show? No, uh, I think that covers everything for the mania, for everything I got to say. Um, great. That covers everything that I got, too. I guess, uh, yeah. I guess we'll... Are we picking a wrestler? Oh, yeah. We got a wrestler of the week. It's the wrestler of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Okay, Mike, 
Who do you got? I got Kofi. <laughs> yeah, I got Kofi. Okay, you got to give okay, it to there Kofi. We go. Kofi is, Kofi like, you know, and you know me. You know I love Becky Lynch, the man, but I got to give Kofi. He had the best match of the night. He had, he, exactly. So. He, he, had, he had my match of the night, so he gets all the stars for me. I guess, Um. yeah, yes, more than Adam of Cole. Of course, I always Adam give Cole's my love a, to Becky. Adam Cole's a close second, though. Got to say. Yeah, Adam Cole, he had a hell of a performance. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, Kofi, Kofi's the man. Kofi Mania. We'll have another wrestler. Um, Kofi Mania, baby. Okay, that's Let's right, that folks. Title. That's right, folks. We're done with the show. All right. We're done with the yeah, show. We'll Remember to rate, review, like, and subscribe to the Show Brothers Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Google Play, and wherever you listen to shows. Baby. Two, three, four.